Hello and welcome back. Another day, another logic challenge, and this one is from CAT 90. A very standard CAT question, a very doable CAT question. You just have to follow the rules, make the deductions, and complete the table. So, this is not a big hairy challenge. This is that standard CAT question that everybody should be able to master. Not only that, this is the kind of set that can be attempted. Not only that, we want to revise our basic deductive logic process and observe over and over again that that's all we need to tackle any such information. Yes, there are bigger sets, uh, bookkeeping becomes an issue there. There are some sets which will require your basic quant skills, but this is the kind of set which requires none of those. Just follow the rules, play the game and you'll be done in no time uh, and the picture will be very, very complete. So as usual, I'm assuming that you have tried out the set and then only you're joining the discussion. So let's dive into the story. There are four dancers and there are four music composers. I also know that each dancer is supposed to perform two dances each. So there are going to be overall eight dances. And I am assuming that you have read the challenge already. So you know it's a game of ordering and matching which dancer is matched with which music composer and not only once but twice and what are the slots of performance so each dancer gets two dances so there are overall eight dances for each of the dances you will have a dancer and a music composer and then there were a lot of small rules hidden in the story that in the first four slots all the music composers were different you don't need to write this stuff down. This is for our communication. Ideally, they should be stuck in your head uh, while solving the problem. So all the composers for the first four slots are different. And you can say the same thing about the next four slots also, because four different composers will perform in the second slot as well. Furthermore, it also said each dancer had to individually perform in two dances assigned by different composers. So if you have a composer A for the first round, you cannot have composer A for the second round. Your composer must be different. Furthermore, no dancer performed her second item before the performance of the first item by any other dancers. So I know that the first four dances are all going to be dance one by individual dancers. And the second four uh, slots are going to be the second dance or the dance two by each performer easy in our story so far the dancers perform their second items in the same sequence of their performance of their first items so say if the order for the first four slots i'm just assuming for a second is pqrs for the next four also it is going to be pqrs as well this is just an example to illustrate the point and then there were more pieces of information given about the story this is where our true work begins so some rules are already present in the paragraph no composer who assigned item to princess assigned item any item to queen so princess is the dancer somebody is the music composer and remember she will or he will have two music composers and both of them now cannot work with q q is ruled out so whoever is a music composer for p now cannot work with q so later in the story, when you figure out T's composer is someone, you also know that they haven't composed for Q at all. The next rule was identical. No composer who assigned item to Rani. No composer who assigned item to Rani. And remember, they're going to be two composers. They will not work with S in whatever shorthand you want to capture this information. The third rule was very interesting and gave me a very concrete piece of information. The first performance was by Princess and the composer was Badal. So a lot of things are opening for me. By the way, if the first performance is by Princess, the fifth performance will also be by Princess. And connected to the previous rule, if Badal is a composer for P, Badal will not be composing for Q as and when this information might be needed. Another small deduction that I can make is for the second for the second dance of P, B will not be the composer because each time you have to have a different composer. The last performance was by Rani. The last performance was by Rani and the composer was Gagan. So Rani's composer for the eighth slot is Gagan. I will think about this in a second. But if Rani is at the eighth slot, she will also be at the fourth slot. 
because remember the order is identical so whatever the order in the first four slots is going to repeat for the next four slots and now focusing on rani's composer being g one of rani's composer is g that also tells me g will never compose for s as and when this will be needed the fifth rule was quite interesting and it's a two part rule the items assigned by ashman were performed consecutively so now think about this rule for a second you know in the first four slots you had different composers you also know in the next four slots as well you had different composers so the only place where you can have consecutive composers is the fourth and the fifth between the dance one category and the dance two category so you also now know rani's composer is a for the fourth slot and p's composer is a for the fifth slot or the dance two first slot whatever you want to call it once you have this information one of the music composers for p is a that also tells you that for q a is ruled out similarly r's composer is a that means a is ruled out for s as well and the second part of this particular rule was very very interesting and this is the only rule which required maybe a little a uh, minutes worth of work in terms of thinking so maybe the most important part of the story and the final and the final part of the story it said the gap between all the other composers was the same except for a i know the a's performances are stacked up consecutively but between everybody else there was the same gap so let me try and play with the story so for example b is in slot 1 let me put him up in slot 6 and now let me measure the gap between the b this is me trying to understand the rule first 1 2 3 4 4 Fo four slots between b and b and the rule said this gap is the same for all other performers except for a so if you are saying between b and b 1 2 3 4 4 slots are present between g and g also there should be four slots present so let me measure that 1 2 3 4 4 so maybe i can put g here let me further test my story if i put a d here then i'll put a d here because the, those are the only two slots and the composers remaining and let me measure the gap between d 1 2 3 4 4 so now if i look at b's gap the slot there are four slots in between i look at g's gap again there are four slots in between and if i look at d's gap again i have four slots in between so just by trying it out and trying to understand the story seemingly i have already figured out the details to better understand the process try and make a mistake for yourself for example this is the right story but just to better practice let me put a b here in that case 1 2 3 4 5 five slots between b and b now i want to have the same number of slots between g and g 1 2 3 4 5 so that means g will be in slot 2 that means d will be left for this slot and then in this story d will be left for this slot but now between d and d there are not enough slots or not the same number of slots as between b and g so this story is not going to work for me maybe some people started with this story and then they realize that this is the order of things and now you take this snapshot and add it to your previous rule for example g cannot be a composer for s p and r are already ruled out so g has to compose for q is there a rule being broken for q no not a problem that means d must have performed for or uh, composed for s and i know the order is same so it is going to be the same thing p s q r again any rule being broken b can compose for s g and a could not d can compose for q b and a cannot so now i have figured out everything and now so now i have figured out everything i do not think that i even need to discuss the questions once you have this snapshot the questions are ridiculously easy and this is a cat 19 set and this is a cat 19 set do this set do two more set of sets also available in the exam and you're already crossing the cut off without even touching the big hairy difficult set as such right so make sure that this kind of story this kind of a scenario a standard question where everything is working out you just have to follow the rules make deductions make sure that you're mastering this 100% in your preparation you cannot lose out on such a set so this is it for this session i hope you enjoyed the game same game as before in fact a lovely simple game in between we have also been through a lot of big hairy journeys as such 
but this is the kind of stuff that uh, you should put severe focus on getting right right so this is it for the day i will see you really soon